So at the start of 2020, Sterling's Coast Farmers was successful in receiving funding from COGO to look at the impact of stubble management techniques on the mortality rate of the small conical snail. This idea originated from South Australia where they have a problem with the white Italian snail and the vineyard snails which try to escape the hot ground in hot weather um, to by climbing up the top of the stubble and then they use their stubble techniques to knock them to the ground and dehydrate them and get a mortality rate out of that. So this idea we're trying to bring into WA is for the small conical snail. Uh, it's a little bit more difficult as small conical snails tend not to climb up the stubble as much and rather bury themselves uh, where possible in the root systems at the bottom of the stalks or by climbing inside the canola stalks themselves. Um, so it's a little bit trickier to get these stubble techniques to work but we don't have any solid evidence uh, for these responses in southwest of WA so this is what we're really focused on looking at. The small conical snails in WA is becoming a broader issue. Um, the areas are expanding. The grain quality receival standards are becoming more strict uh, with less snails allowed per hectolitre and this is pushing for a better control of the pest. For this project, we're not necessarily looking for 100% mortality rate. We are just looking for a roughly maybe 70% to try and get it into an integrated pest management system and get more control options for farmers, uh, as well as baiting, burning, rolling and cleaning, uh, all to get a reduced cost, better control and better grain quality. The treatments we looked at ranged in intensity on the stubble and the habitat of the snail. So we had a cabling, which was just simply knocking any snails uh, in inside the stalks on top of the stalks or potentially if it did knock any root system out in that area uh, onto the hot ground in about 35 plus degrees. Uh, then we had our stubble crunching which destroyed the stubble a little bit more by cutting it into about 10 inch pieces. Uh, this idea was just to get a bit more aggressive on it and then we had our speed till treatment which was really destroyed the habitat as well as the stubble um, standing which could be used as another residue management technique. So this trial was located 15 k's west of Mount Barker uh, in the high rainfall zone and we obviously had our pre-treatment counts. Uh, this was quite laboursome and we had a lot of staff doing it, counting a lot of snails in a heavily infested paddock. Uh, then we did our treatments of varying intensity and then did our post-treatment counts to get some results out of the initial treatments. We'll continue this through until harvest. So we'll be taking the grain sample out of each plot and this will get us a response effect hopefully um, to see how much of the treatment effect carries through till harvest time and what impact this has on the farmer's return in their grain sample and grain quality. We'll also be using John Moore from DPIRD's grain camera which will be able to count the snails um, as they come through in the grain and this could be worked back to work out a population density map for the paddock which then can be used for a variable treatment. So for cabling this was done with a 20 metre cable, uh, it was about an inch thick and it was towed between two utes just 12 metres apart and done at approximately 20 kilometres an hour. Uh, this did vary a little bit and it did have a good effect however we did go over it twice in different directions just to get maximum response out of our snail control. This was done on the hottest day we could get, which is roughly 35 degrees, which hopefully knocked all those snails out anywhere we could onto that hot ground to desiccate them. The next level of intensity was the stubble crunching. This was done with a 12 metre farmer made machine. It was made to cut the stalks into 10 inch pieces. Uh, it was towed at roughly 12 k's an hour. Um, this will hopefully knock any snails that was inside the stalks out pretty well and knock them onto the ground and desiccate them as well. Uh, speed tilling was done with a three metre wide machine that was currently being used for fire breaks. Um, it was only done at 10 k's an hour to 10 centimetres deep. Uh, this was just to get an effect on the stubble and knock any roots and mix it all up, try and get that effect. It was less of a residue management and more of on the snail uh, habitat. Then we also had our nil control which obviously had no effect on it at all.